Hi, y'all. Thank y'all for dropping by my channel for Every Tammy Faye. Today, our Christmas in July project is going to be taking this old, oversized Christmas bulb and turning it into a beautiful, shabby chic, Victorian, whatever you want to call it, Christmas bulb. I'm going to be using the Rust-Oleum chalk paint today in linen white. to share this with y'all i made this picture the other night using my iod christmas and farmhouse stamps and when i finished it i just had this visual of this hanging in an old farmhouse with this mother sitting in the rocking chair reading the christmas story to the children sitting at her feet and it was just such a warm sweet visual and isn't that what christmas really is all about I'm applying the paint in a circular motion because I wanted to give the smooth surface just a little more texture. I did have to apply two applications of the paint and I did allow it to dry completely before applying the second application. It turned out really nice, exactly what I wanted. I'm going to be using this packet of IOD painterly florals transfers today to do this project. These are the flowers I'm gonna use. I think they're beautiful and just perfect for this project. I particularly like the IOD transfers that come in sheets, like where the, um, like for instance here, the leaves, the stems, and the flowers are all separate. This is where you really do become the designer. If you make a mistake, no worries. You just go back and you, look on the sheets and you say, oh, how can I fix this? And you just take a piece of a leaf or a flower and fix it. Boom, you're done. These transfers, I have never found an issue with transferring onto any material that I've ever tried. So I'm pleased with that. The way I choose my lace for a project is I just look at the colors and just kind of go with the color scheme. I look around my house first to see if um, there's something there I can use because when I go to do a project, I'm doing it kind of try to save money instead of going out and purchasing things. So I do that around my house first. I didn't use these beads that you see me attaching around the ribbon here in the middle. Once I started to um, attach it to the actual bulb, I realized it was an absolute overkill of the beads, so I went with a very neutral, very plain, um, skinnier ribbon, and it turned out really nice. In my opinion, it was definitely the right choice. And here is the finished project. I think it turned out really, really nice. I actually staged this on a tray that will be getting painted white soon so look for that and um, I used some cut up Christmas tree limbs from an old artificial Christmas tree I was going to throw out by the road and I am so glad that I did not do that because I have come to learn that through so many creative creators out there in YouTube world that you can do so many things with those you can make wreaths and swags and it's just limitless, so don't throw them away. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, Forever Tammy Faye, I would love for you to do so. Without you, the subscribers, there would be no creators. I can promise you that. We truly, truly appreciate each and every one of you from the bottoms of our heart. I can tell you sometimes it is not easy doing this, but we love what we do for sure. I'm sitting out in my car right now as this tropical storm comes by Florida and um, the house is very noisy today and I couldn't actually tape my regular voice so I had to um, do a voiceover so I tried locking myself in the bathroom to do the voiceover that didn't work so I came out to the car I've been interrupted so many times sitting in the car finally I have made it through so anyway i love you guys i appreciate it i'm sorry if the um the sound is not quite right i did the best i could love you and i'll see you next time